All right, everybody, welcome back to the Heart of Many Homes podcast. A quick little podcast here that is currently brought to you by Red Gatorade because I needed a drink and any port in a storm. I am Laura Fengman. I'm a realtor in Tennessee and licensed in Virginia as well. Uh, please see our website for complete uh, disclosures and brokerage information, and that can be found at www.weknowknoxville.com. I have been uh, bringing you some industry information, some real estate kind of advice and thoughts and things like that. And I was looking back over some uh, some past work that I had done, and I came across some writing that I thought was important. It's definitely important to me. It's, I think, one of the, one of my favorite things I've ever written. Like I created it, and I wanted to share it with you because I feel like there's never a bad time for a reminder. The world's a weird place. It's getting weirder by the day, maybe by the minute, um, and being prepared can make all the difference. So I just kind of wanted to share these thoughts with you in the podcast today. Um, and this is what they don't tell you about being brave. So let's be honest, it might be different than what you're expecting. The, uh, the word brave is an adjective and it means having or showing mental or moral strength to face danger, fear, or difficulty having or showing courage. Currently, there's a pretty consistent message coming from both the private and professional arenas, and that message is be brave. Have the courage to do the thing. Be that person. Use your bravery to speak up, speak out, be loud, make your voice heard, be bold and unafraid. It's okay to fail. You must try and take risks or you're not really living. There is most certainly some truth here. And encouragement is so important, especially for the quiet, less adventurous among us. While listening to those motivational speeches, we tend to associate bravery with a string of related words. Courage, heroes, the heart of a lion, winners and medals and cheering, thankful crowds and other Disney-esque romanticized notions. But, have you ever wondered why? Why the sudden focus on the need to be brave? Why would you need so much encouragement and support to be open and honest? The truth is, what you're about to do or think or say may be wildly unpopular. The reason you're encouraged to be brave and inundated with pep talks and inspirational memes is being brave is hard. If you choose to be brave, it's a calculated risk. It's commendable. But know this, being brave can be lonely Think about it, if everyone agreed with you, there wouldn't be any need for bravery, would there? When you take an unpopular stand, there might be consequences. And when you voice your opinion, take a leap of faith, or venture down a road less traveled, you might be mocked, or shouted at, argued with, laughed at, or maybe worst of all, ignored. Even the people who encourage you to be brave might react that way if your bravery doesn't fall within their acceptable parameters. You might feel betrayed. You might feel like the only person on earth who thinks this way or does this thing, and you may even question yourself. Being lonely isn't fun. However, this is not meant to discourage you. The current sentiment is right on. You absolutely, positively should be brave. 
this message is to prepare you so that you're not caught off guard in those times when the reaction you receive is different than what you might have imagined or expected. If you're armed with the knowledge that there are many ways in which your message might be perceived, you'll be ready for it. Instead of shrinking back defensively, feeling hurt, you can take the next step and keep moving forward. Instead of caving to doubt and running back to the comfort of the consensus, you'll be ready. You won't have to stop and catch your breath and recover from the surprise, but you'll be ready to stand your ground and proceed with caution. There will be amazing opportunities for truth telling where the reaction is me too. Someone might say, I agree. Or maybe even, I hear what you're saying, but I still think you're wrong. The best part is, you already know the benefits, the truths, and the realities of your choices. You'll choose to be brave, not because of the opinions of others, but because it's time to share your message. You're gonna take that stand and become that person. At some point, you will choose to be brave and no one will cheer for you. This is still okay. Your truth and your convictions are still your own. Conflicting beliefs do not make your truth any less true or any less yours. So go on, take the risk and speak your truth. Have informed opinions that you can stand by and do these things with your eyes wide open. Be ready to be brave. Thank you so much for being here and for listening. If you have questions about anything we've just discussed or certainly anything real estate related, please feel free to get in touch. We always love hearing from you. And until next time, take care of each other.